Hey guys, welcome to Road to MLS presented by Continental Tire. Today we are joined by second year Red Bull, Omir Fernandez, who will take us through his journey to the Red Bulls and MLS. Omir, thanks for joining us today. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Not bad. It's good to see you. Omir, we're very interested on your journey to the club. Um, take us all the way back to the beginning, you know, born in Bronx, New York. Take us through your journey to the Red Bulls. It's a long journey for sure. Um, I used to live in Manhattan, actually, for a small part of my life. And uh, there used to be a field there that, you know, my dad would take me to. And that's where I kind of started off. Till I was 14, I was at Gachi traveling to Queens every single day and, you know, playing tournaments and just growing. And when I was 14, I got a call from one of the coaches at the Red Bulls, Jeff Zahn, telling me he wanted me to play for the U14 Academy. And it was hard for me to leave a club where I was there for so long, but, you know, me and my dad knew the, uh, the opportunities that would come playing for this big team in New York. And, you know, we couldn't say no to that. As you continued, uh, you know, you, you made your way through the academy. Take us, you know, all the way, all the way up to, to signing pro. The biggest thing for me is that I had so much fun and, you know, I was able to develop as a player and I didn't even really notice it. You know, I just was having fun playing and playing, but down the line, I was noticing, hey, I'm getting better. You know, I'm getting noticed more. You know, I'm training with the USL team doing this. And I was very happy where I was. You know, I was very happy that I was having fun playing with good players and just improving. My U U18 year, I go to Wake Forest and I'm there for a year and a half. And, you know, the call came. They wanted to give me the opportunity to join the first team. And I couldn't believe it. Um, I don't know. It was something that I thought of when I was 14, you know, playing with the first team. I didn't think it was actually going to happen that quick and, you know, that then. And I was just so excited to get everything started and couldn't believe what was happening at the time. Talk us through a little bit about that phone call with uh, with Chris about, you know, them telling you get down to preseason. What was that phone call like? I think the first team had already had three or two or three days of preseason. And I was getting ready back to go to school. You know, my semester was starting. And the day before, me and my friend were working out in the gym, getting ready to start our spring season. And Chris Armas calls me and tells me, oh, we're happy that we got to a negotiation. We you know we're very excited to get you down here. Can you make it to preseason in a few days? And my friend was just like shaking his head like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so I said, yeah, 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 I'll be there on Monday if that's OK. He said, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, we're just very happy to get you here and get you with the guys and stuff like that. And then, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but super happy to get everything done and just get started. So I went to school at Wake. Uh, I was a sophomore. Mm -hmm. I'm a left winger and I'm really glad to be here. Thank you so much. Maybe something else to read if he forgot. I really like to counter press. I love getting on the move. And uh, how tough was it to leave a place that obviously left such an incredible impression on you and your family? You know, I created so many friends, you know, so many friendships over there. And just to be there for a short time and then get up and leave was kind of hard. At first, I didn't think about all these things, but as I thought about it more, it was very hard. But I always knew in the back of my mind that it was something I was not going to I was not going to pass up ever. You know, I knew I knew it at the end of the day, as much as I thought I was going to be a pro at the Red Bulls. All right, let's talk through your first start with the club. Uh, obviously, we're down in Mexico playing Santos Laguna. Uh, you got a lot of family down there. What was going through your head uh, for that first start? And not to mention you, you get a goal in your first start. Uh, talk us through that experience. It was a lot of nerves. It was a lot, a lot of nerves. I remember the training before at the stadium, I was I was very nervous with everything, with every single little practice we did. It was very nervous, every film session, everything. And as the game started, I remember telling myself that I wanted to score. You know, I knew it was a hard game. It was a great team. You know, it was my first start, but I was like not thinking about it. I was just thinking about scoring. And I couldn't tell you what happened the first four minutes of the game. I could just tell you what happened when I scored. And I'm just so glad, you know, that I have video to watch, you know, because I don't remember what happens. It just like, was like a dream to me. Like, 
I don't even know how to explain it. Then we want to talk a little bit about your first goal at Red Bull Arena um, against RSL and particularly your celebration afterwards as well. It was just a great game for us as a team. You know, we we had some rough patches last year, but this was a game that we needed to insert our dominance at home, you know, to show that we were here. And I remember Chris telling me to come on and just get one, you know, to go out there and have fun. And I said, I will, I will boss and I, I'll get one for us. Three so far, Maria looking for more. Andreas Ivan squares this, the last driving from Mendes, my goodness! I knew my, my family were watching, obviously, and they were there. So I wanted to, you know, celebrate in them to know that I wanted to say thank you. And, you know, I hope they are happy with what I'm doing. And, you know, they tell me after how they felt and they really couldn't believe it because everybody in that section knew that they were my parents and they were just so happy congratulating them. and. It was just a great moment for all of us. I just want to thank my family, uh, my dad and my mom, my brother and my sister for always pushing me and for helping me through this long journey. Um, all the coaches from the people that said no to me in the beginning to the Gachi coach that gave me the opportunity to all the coaches at the New York Red Bulls and obviously Chris for giving me the opportunity to play for my hometown club.